Hi, Mary. Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, sorry. I don't have my audiphonos. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> How are you? How was, I'm fine. Uh, how was your day? Busy. Busy. And the work. <laughs> oh, you're working? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where do you work? In Tudo. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you're pretty busy, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but nice, nice. At yeah. least, yeah, we have a job and that's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's mm -hmm. a blessing. Yeah, it's a blessing, exactly. And uh, do you have a lot of people there nowadays because of the situation? No, it's, it's a it's few people. Uh-huh, only a few people? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, but yeah, later is going to be more people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope so. But how, when, I don't know. Yeah, we don't know yet. Probably around May, probably. Mm -hmm. How do you think? Yeah, well, it depends, right? It depends on the people. Because if we follow the instructions and we follow the, the recommendations, you know, Probably uh, before that time, we're going to be working and studying again, you know? But, but if, the people don't follow the rules. Exactly, that's the problem. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh -huh. Yeah, on people, the street, on the supermarket, uh -huh. the people stay in the street only for a stay there. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big problem that people don't follow directions. I know. And uh, if we continue like that, I don't know. Yeah. We're going to we're going to have a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I but think anyway. that. Yeah, I like working from home. You know, I like it, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I prefer to be with people. You know, face to face, interacting with yeah, people. Yeah, it's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is very different. Um, but anyways, huh. the good thing is that I like technology and I know some ways to interact more with the students you know but yeah. there are some students that don't like technology and that's a problem <laughs> i mean <laughs> it's not for everybody that is true mm -hmm. yeah that is not for everybody do you what work in you? the university yeah yeah i work in the university at Onikaes. ah mm -hmm. i studied there you studied there ah yeah when did long you time, long long time ago <laughs> ah, okay <laughs> what did you study <laughs> Um, business administrations. Okay, nice, nice. Mm. And do you have any children yeah. studying there? Yeah, my son. My son ah. studied there. What does he study? Yeah. Uh, contabilidad. Accounting. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, accounting. Uh -huh. mm, okay, nice. nice. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good career, too. <laughs> <laughs> and is he in the first year, second year? No, the first year. Oh. And he's so happy because he stayed in vacation. <laughs> My goodness. Vacations. <laughs> For him, it's vacation. <laughs> okay. The, the, the teachers don't give him any, any homework. Mm -mm. Oh, in really? the platform, no, in the platform, I think that he has class, virtual classes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. ah, okay. Yeah, but... But I, I don't know... If he do that, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe he does it very quickly, because for some people, at least, I am teaching two classes. One is about history, and the other class is about uh, basic English. You know, uh -huh. and I think um, it depends on the person, because I know some people that uh, can do some exercises very quickly, uh, yeah. and there are some people that take their time because they don't like the. Yeah. Class. So, uh, I, I have, for, I have for the PlayStation. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. I have designed, for example, my classes to be covered in one hour, probably, 
or less. Oh, okay. It depends on the person. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it is difficult because you cannot control the time because you don't know how much time the people are spending. Exactly. In the for, moment. for me, it's more difficult because I, don't, I never stay in my house. Mm -hmm. So I hope that he take the classes. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hi, Pedro. Hi, Maria Elena. Hi, Luis. Hi, Saida. I'm Hi, sorry. We were, we, were, we were very excited talking about, about the university. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for making the time uh, to be in this class. How are you all? Is everything okay with your lives? Are you sick? Are you safe? Tell me. Safe. <laughs> you're safe. Safe. Right. Yeah, you're safe, safe. too. Safe. Safe in the home. Yeah, it's safe at home. Yeah, that, that could be the, the best one. That should be the best option for us to be safe at home. Okay. So thank you so much for making the time. I have a question for you. Did you do the uh, the survey, la encuesta que les mandaron de, de inglés corporativo? Yes, it did. Okay, perfect. Eh, si por casualidad no la han hecho, eh, puede buscarlo ahí en los mensajes. Okay. Porque es muy importante la opinión de ustedes. Eh, Eh, sobre nosotros y sobre las clases en general, ¿ok? Así que, este, si usted no la ha hecho o si no vio el link, eh, me puede escribir después de la clase y yo con gusto se lo, se lo comparto, ¿ok? Eh, ok, teacher. Por si casualidad no la ha he hecho y si ya la hizo, pues, qué bien, <ríe> ¿ok? Eh, thank you so much for helping us. La idea es que sigamos mejorando, ¿ok? Poco a poco, poco, a poco. Eh, vamos mejorando la manera de cómo eh, se pueden implementar estas clases, ¿okay? So, uh, let's begin. Let's see. Um, have you had any problems with the platform? ¿Han tenido algún problema con la plataforma, Sorita? Yes, in the yes. platform, in the section number five, in the point number two or three, I don't remember the, the, the exercise, but it's using the, the going to. Going so to. Yes. Uh, no, it's in the no in the superlative. Uh, oh, super. Yeah, that's the topic that we are that we are doing mm -hmm. right now. Probably that's why you you don't remember. Yeah, mm -hmm. but in that case, we need to remember the comparative, and also we're going to see the superlative. So we're going to see both, okay? And you're going to and you're going to see how uh, how to uh, how to manage the topic, okay? Uh, so don't worry. Okay, we're going to cover that. Um, all right. I remember yesterday we were learning about places, mm -hmm. uh, the different places that we have here. And before start, um, you're going to tell me from all of this, we have mountain, volcano, ocean, beach, hill, valley, river, forest, waterfall, island, lake, and desert. You're going to tell me which one is the best one for you and why, okay? Which one is the best one for you and why? I'm going to start, okay? Personally, uh, I think that volcanoes are the best ones for me uh, because it is very interesting how the nature creates volcanoes. Uh, I have never been to a volcano, only Boquerón, you know, uh, El Boquerón. And I think it is very nice and it is very interesting. Uh, I, w I don't like, I mean, I, I, I think I wouldn't like to see the lava, you know, because I think that's dangerous. But <laughs> it, is, it is very interesting, the, the, the form or the shape uh, of the volcanoes. And I think it is also a good idea to know some history about them. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to choose one and you're going to tell me why you like that one in a specific. Okay. Why do you think it's the best one? Okay, let's see. We're going to start with Saida. Can you tell me which one do you consider the best one for you? And why? The, mm -hmm. um, ocean. The ocean, uh-huh. Why? I like. <laughs> uh-huh. Why do you like the ocean? Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. What is the best thing from, from the ocean for you? I don't know, teacher. Uh -huh. There should be something because, I mean, the ocean is very, very, very big, right? 
there are a lot of animals there. Is there a specific animal that you like from the ocean? Turtles. Ah, the turtles. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's see, Mary, do you have a, one uh, place in a specific that you like from this? Mm, I think the beach, teacher. The beach, why? Yeah, because I like feel the breeze mm -hmm. and you stay relaxed and it's, I don't know, it's, for me it's so relaxing. Okay, sounds good. Do you have a favorite beach in El Salvador? Um, maybe... El Sunsal. Mm, okay. It's okay. very beautiful. It's so quiet and the water is amazing. <laughs> ah, how often do you go there? I try to go twice a year. Twice a year? Okay. Mm -hmm. And who do you go with? Excuse me? Who do you go with? Uh, with my kids. Ah, with your kids. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Do you have a specific restaurant or a specific hotel that you like? Los Farallones. Ah, Los Farallones. Yeah, I have heard mm -hmm. of Farallones. Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful and so quiet. And I love the quiet, so for me, it's very nice. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, nice. We have a good recommendation there. So maybe yeah. for maybe after this uh, after this coronavirus thing, maybe we can go. To maybe in August. <laughs> yeah, in August, right? We can. <laughs> We can spend some time in Atlas a los Frayones. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Mary. Uh, let's see, uh, Luis. Which place do you like and why? I like the forest. The forest. Why? Yeah. Because I can connect with the nature. I like to be relaxed. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you have an a specific forest that you like from El Salvador? Yeah, El Pital. Mm -hmm. El Pital, okay, nice. Uh, when was the last time that you went to El Pital? The last year. The last year. And who did you go with? With my girlfriend. With your girlfriend, okay, nice. Yeah, nice. yeah you can uh, take advantage of the time and give her a hug. <laughs> okay, nice. Let's see, Pedro. Hi, Mr. Pedro. Tell me which is the favorite for you. Um, for me, the beach from the family is the mountain. It is, they prefer the, the the cool in the mountain, the restaurant, and, or to uh, different places and, 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 and the sun. But I prefer the, the hut in the beach. Okay. Okay. Do you have a specific uh, restaurant or hotel that you like to visit? On the beach. Um, yes, um, um, the Costa Azul is uh, the the beach. Different different places in the in the Tunco too. Ah, uh, where where is Costa Azul? Costa Azul. Uh -huh. The name I I don't remember the name teacher because it's a it's a private the song the place but in, with uh, some friends invite invited me but it's a it's a good good song because we with the with the beach mm -hmm. okay uh do you do you usually uh rent like a beach house or do you go to a hotel when you go to the beach i rent i rent in the in the house uh, because it's uh, for for all the family to not only there Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good idea when you have a like a large group of of of, of members in your family. Uh, I think it is nice yes, to. I remember. Yeah, but sometimes it. Is, I think yeah, but still, I think it's nice to have like a house, like a house, you know, like your own house <laughs> for a couple of days, yes. uh, so that you can relax, you know, and and disconnect from the uh, from the. Uh, from the city, right? Yeah, excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Marielena, do you have a favorite place here? Um, I like the forest. The forest? Uh -huh. Yeah. 
because um, the weather is cool. Um, I like wolf and sendero. Okay, okay. And uh, do you have a favorite place, like a forest that you'd like to visit with your family? Sorry? Uh huh. Do you have a favorite forest that you'd like to visit with your family? Uh, yeah, Cerro Verde. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, the last year I, we visit the place. Um, but um, I like the beach. Uh, many times uh, with my class, class classmate uh, it's um, I we go the many times uh, the, the last year okay nice have you ever been to the Santana's volcano no no no, 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 pude. Ah, I think it is very difficult, right? You need to have a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You need to have a lot of resistance uh, to, to do that walk. No. Yeah. My sister did it last year and uh, she was super tired. And I'm like, if you are tired, imagine me <laughs> climbing the volcano. And I said, no. <laughs> I prefer yeah. the, 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 the El Boquerón because it's easier, you know? <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, thank you, Marilena. And let's okay. see who's missing. I saw Margarita over here, but she's away. I don't know where she went. All right, so this is a little bit about the vocabulary that we were learning yesterday. And then we jumped uh, to compare a couple of uh, things in which I was expecting you to use uh, the comparative adjectives. Probably you have forgotten uh, some of them. Some of them, but I think you're going to remember that very quickly when we see the explanation. Uh, yesterday we were learning that we have uh, three types of, we have some types of, of syllables. We have, sorry, of, of adjectives that they have one syllable, two syllables, or sometimes three or more syllables. And this is important because uh, this rule is going to help us um, to, uh, remember how to use the comparative and superlative adjectives, okay? Because uh, the clue, la, 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 eh, lo esencial o, o el <laughs> sería aprenderse eso de, los, de las sílabas, okay? And with that, um, you're going to know how to, how to create a sentence, okay? For example, uh, in English, the syllables were with sounds. Decíamos ayer que Eh, las sílabas funcionan a, tra a través de sonidos, ¿okay? No es en realidad una, un par de letras o algo, sino que por sonidos, ¿okay? Por ejemplo, big, we make only one sound, so that is as a one syllable. Modern, modern, that will be two syllables, okay? Modern, funny, okay? Again, we have two syllables. Then we have a discussion. Sorry, about if beautiful have three or four syllables. And we were like breaking beautiful. Estamos eh, partiendo beautiful para ver cómo era. Y era view. View sería una. One syllable. Beauty. Di sería la otra. Y luego full sería la otra. Entonces serían tres sílabas en beautiful. Okay. Important. Igual teníamos tres. Sad. Only one. Good. Happy, short, okay, etc. Ahí las estamos dividiendo de acuerdo uh, the, to the number of syllables that they have, okay? So this is going to help us for the next topic. Eso nos va a ayudar para que el otro sea más claro, okay? And we're going to practice as much as we can. Vamos a tratar de practicar lo más que podamos para cada uno. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to see rule number one. Vamos a ver la primera regla que tenemos que respetar para... Eh, tanto com, como para comparatives como para superlatives, okay? First of all, we are going to see uh, all the adjectives that have consonant, vowel, consonant. Vamos a ver todos los adjetivos que tengan una sílaba y que sigan únicamente eh, este, eh, 
esa estructura, ¿ok? Que sean de una sílaba y que terminen con consonante, vocal, consonante, ¿ok? ¿Me pueden decir algunos ejemplos que tengo por acá arriba de algunas eh, palabras o adjetivos que sean de one syllable y que terminen con consonant, vowel, consonant? Uh -huh. Que sean de consonant, vowel. Short, teacher. Short. Eh, las últimas tres letras de short serían, eh, ah. ajá, sería voca vocal, okay. consonante, consonante. Entonces, en eso no se podría. Ajá. Entonces, crowned. Eh, crowded. Pero uh -huh. como acá tenemos que buscar las que sean de una sílaba. Crowded uh -huh. tiene dos. Ajá, crowded tiene dos. Está en verde. Sí. Ah, solo serían de one syllable y que terminen con consonante, vocal, consonante. Big, big, ajá. Si se, si se fijan es una sílaba y we have consonant, vowel, consonant, ¿ok? Alguna otra que puedan identificar de una sílaba y que termine. Ajá. Sad, sad, good. Ajá. sad, okay. Good termina eh, tiene dos vocales y una consonante, entonces no se puede. Hot, okay. hot, ajá. Hot. Uh -huh, hat. Ok, en ese caso tengo esas tres. Tengo hat, sad, and big. Son las que tengo de una sílaba y que terminan con consonant, vowel, consonant. In that case, lo que voy a hacer es lo siguiente. Tengo, voy a poner el ejemplo de big. Big, el comparativo sería bigger. Ok, estoy comparando dos objetos. Por ejemplo, I have two cell phones over here. Ok. I have two cell phones. You can see that one is small and one is big. Ok. So if you want to compare the two cell phones, si queremos comparar los dos, uh, we can say like the green cell phone, el verde, is bigger than the black one. Ok. Este es más grande que este. Ok. So uh, the green cell phone is bigger than the black one. Okay. Así usamos el comparativo. Okay. Eso es porque estamos comparando dos objetos. Los comparativos los usamos para comparar a dos personas, dos objetos o dos animales o dos lugares. Okay. Entonces, así es como vamos a utilizar bigger. Ahora, el que sigue después de bigger sería biggest. Okay. Así como el restaurante, que ya no existe, creo que solo hay uno. Eh, biggest. Okay. En ese caso, bigger... El que está en medio sería el más grande, ¿ok? Más grande. Y biggest, perdón, este, bigger, eh, más grande. En biggest, el más grande, ¿ok? Entonces, en ese caso, solo tengo que mencionar uno de los dos teléfonos. Que ya sería, the green cell phone is the biggest, ¿ok? The biggest. Ya no vuelvo a mencionar al, al negro, ¿ok? Sino que únicamente digo este. Aquí vamos a ver otros ejemplos. Okay. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir my house is big, right? My house is big. No la estoy comparando con ninguna. Solo estoy hablando de mi casa. The next one. My house is bigger than yours. Okay. Ya si me pongo a comparar, por ejemplo, mi casa con la casa de Pedro. Ah, my house is bigger than Pedro's house. Okay. Tengo una, tengo una, una foto o una imagen de ambas casas. Entonces, yo sé cuál es más grande. Entonces, ahí ya lo estoy diferenciando usando bigger. ¿Ok? Bigger. ¿Ok? Entonces, al primero tengo el adjetivo de manera normal. Luego tengo bigger. ¿Ok? Bigger. Que sería eh, solamente el, 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 el comparativo. Y si se fijan la estructura que estoy usando, después de bigger, estoy usando then. ¿Qué significa then? ¿Alguien se acuerda cuando soy un video se en, en, en el módulo pas antepasado, creo yo, pasado? Uh -huh. Es como más, más grande que el tuyo. Sería ah, exactly. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. Entonces, en este caso, my house is big. My house is bigger than yours, más grande que la tuya, ok, my casa es más grande que la tuya. Y luego estoy comparando mi casa, pero con todas las de la ciudad, es decir, con un grupo más grande. 
in that case, <coughs> my house is the biggest in the city. Okay. Ya no estoy comparando una casa, sino que con un grupo de casas. Y ahí la diferencia entre uno y otro. Ok. Y ahí la diferencia entre uno y otro. So, my house is big. My house is bigger than yours. Estoy comparando únicamente dos. Y luego, de todas las casas que hay, sobre, eh, hago que sobresalga una. My house is the biggest in the city. Ok. My house is the biggest in the city. Ahora, ¿por qué importa lo de consonante, vocal, consonante? ¿Qué pasa con, las, con la letra G en ese caso? ¿Alguien que me pueda decir que es observador? ¿Qué pasa con la letra G? Se duplica. Se duplica. Se duplica. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Se duplica la última letra. Okay. Ahora vamos a ver, ¿cuál eran, ¿cuáles eran los otros adjetivos que teníamos arriba? Eh, que solo eran de una sílaba y que tenían ese, ese, ese patrón de consonant, vowel, consonant. Hot. Sad. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería el comparativo? Sad. Sadder. Sadder. Ajá. De acuerdo con big, bigger, sadder. Y el, el superlativo? Sadest. Sad Sad Ajá. Saddest. Entonces sería triste, más triste y el más triste. ¿Ok? So there we have the, 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 three, the three words, okay? Vamos a ver, igual acá eh, pongo en énfasis eso de lo de las letras, porque hay que duplicarlas únicamente cuando terminan así. Consonant, vowel, consonant, okay? ¿Cuál era el otro que tenía arriba? Hot. 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 Ajá, ¿cuál sería el de comparative? Hot. Hot. Hotter, ajá. Harder. Uh -huh. And the superlative? Hotter. Hottest. Okay. Hottest. Okay. Entonces, vamos a ver. Tengo hot, hotter, and hottest. Okay. Hottest. Vamos a hacer un ejemplo con, eh, con hot, ¿ok? Sabemos que es caliente, right? Caliente. So, we can compare um, la libertad and eh, el pital. Which one is hotter? Which one is hotter? La libertad is is harder than el pital. Exactly, ok. La libertad is harder than el pital. Ok, exactly. Uh, la libertad is harder than la libertad. Ok. Ahora, si voy a hablar del más caliente, what do you think is the hottest place in El Salvador? ¿Cuál es sí. el más caliente? <laughs> ah, ok. La unión. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's let's stay with San Miguel, okay? We can say San Miguel is the hottest place in El Salvador, okay? Entonces, ahí no estoy comparando a San Miguel nada más con, con Santa Ana o con San Salvador, sino que con todo el país, okay? Con todo el país, ya sería como el, el, lo que sobresale, okay? Lo que sobresale. Así es como usamos el superlativo. Algo más que quiero que se fijen es que para los superlativos usamos el da, que sería el, el más grande, el más caliente, el más, etc. Okay? Siempre tiene que ir con, eh, a la parte del superlativo. Ya, yeah, siempre tiene que ir okay. antes del, del da. Ajá. Okay. Siempre tiene que ir antes del adjetivo. Y en el caso de los comparatives, el than va después del adjetivo. Bigger than, que sería qué. Es más grande que, eh, más caliente que, más triste que, etc. Ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right. I have two movies. Tengo dos películas. I have, let me see. Uh, ¿Dónde están las rubias? White chicks. And um, let me see. A sad movie. And Me Before You. Yo antes de ti. No sé si la han visto. Sí. Okay. It's a romantic. It's a romantic movie. Okay. <laughs> uh, which one is other? <laughs> Uh -huh. Be before you is sadder mm -hmm. than 
¿Dónde están las rubias? Uh -huh. Yeah, me before you, yo antes de ti, is sadder than white uh -huh. chicks. ¿Ok? Que sería uh -huh. donde están las rubias. Ahora, ¿cuál es la película más triste que ustedes conocen? Uh -huh. El niño de pijama de rayas. Ah, el niño de pijama de rayas is the saddest movie. Hay bastantes uh -huh. películas, pero estoy recalcando eso, estoy sacando eso porque es la más triste. ¿Ok? Is the saddest movie. ¿Alguna otra película que ustedes conocen que es la más triste que han visto? La vida es ah. bella. Ah, la vida es bella. Ok, la vida es bella. Is the saddest movie. Ok. The saddest movie. Ajá. Uh -huh. Perfect. ¿Alguna otra? No sé, la del perrito que lo espera como nueve años. Ah, Hachi. Uh -huh. Ah, Hachi. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hachi. Yeah, Hachi is the saddest, oh, saddest. movie. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. So, ¿Se entendió ahora la idea de cuál es la diferente, diferente entre el comparativo y el superlativo? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Esa es una, una más una de las reglas que vamos a ver. Van a ver que las demás son un poco más fáciles. Solo quería hacer énfasis en esta eh, para que sepamos lo de, los, lo de, la, lo de la, la escritura. Porque en la plataforma creo que tienen que escribir. Entonces, es importante que, que, que pongamos atención en eso de la escritura. Okay? All right. Let's continue with rule number two. Okay? Rule number two. Now I want to find all the ones, all the adjectives that are only one syllable. Todos los que tienen una sílaba. Aquí no me importa si termina con consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay? Con simplemente que sean una sílaba suficiente. So, me pueden decir cuáles son una sílaba, pero que no, que no sigan esa regla de consonant, vowel, consonant. Mm -hmm. Short. Short. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál otra? Clean. Long. Long. Uh -huh. Cold. 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 Uh -huh. Tall. Tall. And finally. Good. Good. Ah, good. Uh -huh. And we have another one. Uh -huh. Tall. 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 And we have deep. Uh -huh. Deep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Deep. ¿Qué significaba deep? ¿Alguien se acuerda? Oh, deep. Profundo. Profundo. Ok. Uh -huh. Profundo. Uh -huh. And tidy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh -huh. Clean. Like clean. Clean. Uh -huh. The clean. Uh -huh. O ordenado o limpio. Ok. It can be both. Uh -huh. All right. But tidy, it has two syllables. So tidy no lo vamos a meter. Solamente quería saber si se acuerdan del, del, del significado. Ok. So que tenemos short, clean, good, cold, long, uh, tall, and deep. Todos esos terminan o tienen una sílaba, pero no terminan con esta con estru estructura que sería consonant, double consonant. Entonces vamos a ver qué pasa con ellos. En ese caso... Va a ser igual a esto, solamente que no voy a duplicar la letra. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, small. Tengo un solo sonido. Small. The comparative, smaller. ¿Ok? Smaller. And the superlative, smallest. ¿Ok? Smallest. For example, I have um, a TV and a cell phone. Which one do you think is a smaller? Mm -hmm. A TV and a cell phone. Which one do you think is the smaller? Mm -hmm. cell phone. The cell phone. Okay, the cell phone is smaller than the TV. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. So we're going to see an example. My, my cell phone is small. Okay, that is the normal way. No lo estoy comparando con nada, simplemente lo estoy describiendo. Okay, my cell phone is small. Then I have, uh, my cell phone is smaller than Saida's, okay? Saida has a big cell phone, and I don't have a big cell phone, okay? Mine is small. So my cell phone is smaller than Saida's cell phone. Okay, igual acá tengo que poner ese then a la hora de comparar, okay? And finally, igual que en el caso anterior, tengo que poner the, y luego el adjetivo usando est, ok, smallest, ok, the smallest. 
So, my cell phone is the smallest of the group. De todos los que estamos acá, creo que mi teléfono es el más pequeño, ¿ok? Puede ser que usted tenga un gran ladrillo, ¿verdad? Entonces, en mi caso, en mi caso es un, es un casi un Samsung 1 o Samsung 0, creo que es, ¿ok? Entonces, sería the smallest of the group, ¿ok? The smallest of the group. Vamos a ver, ¿cuál eran, ¿cuáles eran otros adjetivos que teníamos ahí arriba? Que eran de one syllable. Cold. Cold. Ah, cold. ¿Cómo sería el comparativo de cold? cold? Colder. Ajá, colder. Ahí no tengo que duplicar ninguna letra porque no sigue la regla anterior. ¿Ok? ¿En the superlative? Coldest. Coldest. Ok, perfecto. Let's see, I have a question. I have two places. I have El Pital and I have La Libertad again. Uh, let's see, Saida, which place is colder? Mm. El Pital. Mm -hmm. El Pital what? The complete sentence? El Pital is cold. Colder? Uh -huh. Colder. Colder then? Um, La libertad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, el pital is colder than la libertad. Okay, now people, what is the coldest place that you know in El Salvador? Mm -hmm. What is the coldest place that you know in El Salvador? Anybody? El pital y los naranjos, I think. Okay, look. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, you can say that los oh, naranjos is the coldest. Uh huh. Uh huh. Any other idea? Thirteen is coldest of the Salvador. Ah, okay. Perkin, Perkin. What did you say? Yeah, the mountain. Ah, the mountain. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. What is another adjective? ¿Cuál era otro adjetivo que teníamos ahí arriba? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. bueno, good lo vamos a utilizar para otro. Ya le, ya le voy a explicar por qué. ¿Algún otro? Tall. Clean. Ok, tall and we have tall. clean. Voy a poner aquí. Ok. Tall. What is the comparative of tall? Taller. Taller. Mm -hmm. Taller. And the superlative? Taller. Tallest. Tallest, okay? Nice, I have a question for you. Um, who is the tallest person in your family? Who is the tallest? My mother. Oh, really? My... Yes. Ah, excellent. Usually it's the father, but in your case it's your mother. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, okay. What about the rest? ¿Qué tal con los demás? My son is the taller. The tallest. Uh -huh. Yes, the tallest. Ah, in my your family. son. Okay, your son is the tallest. Uh huh. What about the rest? Luis, who is the tallest person in your family? My father is the tallest. Ah, okay. Uh huh. In my family, yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh huh. Ahí no los estoy comparando nada más con uno, sino que estoy agarrando a todos los miembros de la familia y estoy eh, sacando a uno. Uh huh. Alguien ahí me está diciendo. Algo? My father is. Taller than my uncle. Ah, excellent. My father is taller than my uncle. Ahí se estoy comparando dos personas, entonces sí puedo usar taller. Pero si solo estoy hablando de uno en específico que sobresale, ahí sería tallest. Ok, top. Excellent. Then we have clean. What is the comparative? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Cleaner. 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 And the superlative? Cleanest. 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 Excellent. Okay. Cleanest. All right. Um, what is the cleanest city in El Salvador? What is the cleanest? Come on. There should be one. What is the cleanest city? Mm -hmm. The cleanest. Now San Salvador. Yeah, now San Salvador. But we don't have people, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. 
Um, now, who or which room is cleaner? Or, no, sorry. Which room is the cleanest in your house? Which room is the cleanest? My room. My is mother. <laughs> oh, really? Your mother's room? Of my house. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. In my case, I think the bathroom is the cleanest. <laughs> yeah. Because we, we almost wash it every day. <laughs> nice. Uh-huh. And uh, not my bedroom, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the opposite. We're going to see how to say the, the dirtiest. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Any questions with these two rules? Alguna pregunta con dos reglas? Se fijan, solo son de una sílaba. Y solo tenemos que poner atención cuando termina con consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay. De lo contrario, todo está bien. All right. All right. Let's okay. continue with the next one. Rule number three. Now we're going to find or we're going to see how to work with two syllables. Okay. Two syllables. Así que nos vamos a acordar de cuáles tenían dos sílabas. And something important is that we are going to work um, with the ones that finish with the letter Y. Okay. Vamos a trabajar únicamente ahorita con los que terminan con la letra Y. Ok. With the letter Y. ¿Por qué? Ya lo vamos a ver. Ok. Entonces vamos a, a ver nuestra lista one more time. And tell me, which are the two syllable adjectives that finish with the letter Y? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, funny, uh huh, funny, tidy, tidy, uh huh, happy, and happy. happy. Okay, perfect. Esos son los únicos tres que eh, terminan o que tienen dos sílabas y que terminan con la letra Y. Okay, con ella vamos a trabajar ahorita nada más. Let's see. And I have an example here. I have funny, okay, funny. ¿Qué pasó con Y? ¿Alguien que me explique? You changed. Ah, uh -huh. I changed it for a Y. Okay. An I, sorry. La cambié por una I. Entonces, ese, en ese caso, por eso es importante identificar a las que terminan con la letra Y. Ok. And, si se fijan en el superlativo, es igual que el anterior que tengo EST. Yes. Únicamente que le cambié la letra Y por una I. Ok. Funnier, funniest. Okay? Funniest. Vamos a ver un ejemplo. My dad is funny. Okay? Únicamente lo estoy describiendo a él. No, no problem here. Okay? No, no, no hay nada especial, no lo estoy comparando con nadie. My dad is funnier than my mother. Okay? My dad is funnier than my mother. Ahí sí, lo estoy comparando a los dos. Okay? My father is funnier than my mother. Ahora, ¿cuál es la persona más alegre o más chistosa de mi familia? Ah, my dad is the funniest. Okay. The funniest of the family. Okay. Entonces, si se fijan, uso la misma estructura, únicamente lo que cambia es que termina con Y. Okay. And they are two syllables. Y son dos sílabas. Okay. So, who is the funniest person in your family? Mm -hmm. My other son. <laughs> Your other son? He's the funniest. Yeah, he's the funniest of the family. Ah, okay. He's the funniest person in the family. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Another person? Who is the funniest? Uh, I am. Ah, you are the funniest. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my son is the funniest. Of my family. Ah, okay. Your son is the funniest mm -hmm. uh -huh, of your family. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Another? My uncle is the funniest of the family. You are the, uh, your uncle, sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, your yeah. uncle is the funniest. Okay, perfect. What about Margarita? Who's the funniest person in your family? Mm, 
in my family, the funniest is my child. The child. Raul. Ah, okay. Perfect. Perfect. My and Pedro. Child. Okay. Thank you, Margarita. And Pedro, who's the funniest person in your family? <laughs> It's uh -huh. difficult, but uh -huh. I, mean, I am the funniest of my family. <laughs> ah, you are the funniest. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to change it. We're going to do the opposite, people. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Angry. What do you think is the comparative? Angrier. 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 Mm -hmm. Angrier. Igual, aquí cambio la Y por una I. Okay, angrier. And the superlative is? Angriest. 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 Okay, angriest. Now, who is the angriest person in your family, people? Mm -hmm. Tengan cuidado, no my lo vayan a decir fuerte. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am my <laughs> sister. Angriest. Okay, your family, who said I am? <laughs> yes, I am. You, really, Maria Elena, you're the angriest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Be careful. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Angry. Uh huh. Pedro was the angriest. Be careful, Pedro. <laughs> only, only the. <laughs> it's so funny, Pedro. You can... <laughs> yeah, you're the you're the funniest when you're the angriest. How come? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> ah, okay, sometimes. Okay. Uh, let's see, Luis, who's the angriest? <laughs> my brother. Okay. He's the angriest Ang of my family. Okay. He's the angriest? Okay, nice. And let's see, Marie Margarita. Who's the angriest? Me. You are the angriest. <laughs> Okay, lo bueno es que lo acepta. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Sincerely. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, ¿Quién se acuerda cuál era el otro adjetivo, el otro adjetivo que teníamos que terminaba con Y? Tidy. Tidy. Ah, tidy. tidy. Okay. What is the comparative? Mm -hmm. Tidier. Tidier, ajá. Uh -huh. And the superlative? Tidiest. Tidiest. Okay. Tidiest. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. And do we have another one? Tenemos uno más, creo yo. No, only have three, did you? Happy, tighter, and no, happy. happy, tighter, and funny. Ah, we, funny. we yeah, but we have, we're missing happy. We don't have happy here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Happy. And what is the comparative? Happier. Happier. Uh-huh. Happier. And the superlative? <coughs> Happiest. 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 Okay. Perfect. Uh, who's the happiest? Not family member. Ya no vamos a crear problemas. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> uh, who's the happiest uh, co-worker that you have? Co-worker or colleague that you have. You can say his name. Or her name. <laughs> uh -huh. or I think no. my boss. My boss. Oh, really? Your boss? Yeah. Ah. All Is the time. Yeah, all the time. Happy. Okay. Nice. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Sounds yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes the, we think that the bosses are the angriest, right? Yeah. <laughs> not yeah, all the but, time. Uh -huh, not all the time, exactly. When, do you, when you do your job, I think that's not the case, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's not a problem. Okay, perfect. All right, let's see, what about the others? Who's the happiest uh, co-worker? Yeah, something, uh, something that I want you to clarify, algo que quiero clarificar de eso, es que ahorita, eh, como no hemos visto la otra, en la que se usa more, no se confunden, pero yo sé que mañana se me van a confundir, ¿ok? Mm. Este, this is my question, it's more uh, and most. Uh 
Ajá, more es and most. Es mi pregunta. Ajá, es que eso les quería clarificar, porque cuando nosotros en inglés siempre decimos más, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, eh, yo soy más, más, eh, más sonriente que mi papá, por ejemplo, ¿ok? O yo soy el más sonriente. Entonces, automáticamente ya nuestra mente está, eh, ya está programada para decir más o para decir menos. Entonces, uh -huh. cuando ya vemos la parte en inglés en la que usamos más y menos, eh, tendemos a mezclar esos dos. Por ejemplo, yo he escuchado a personas decir que, por ejemplo, coffee is more harder than water. ¿Ok? More harder. Yo sé que en español más caliente sí se puede decir bien. Pero uh -huh. en inglés, ya en harder, cuando usted me dice harder, esa ER ya me está incluyendo el más. Entonces, no tiene que volver a decir el más. Entonces, en eso yo sé que eso siempre fallamos todos cuando estamos uh -huh. hablando. Eh, porque pasa seguido, o sea, pasa, yo soy consciente de que pasa. Sin embargo, este, sí quería empezar con las reglas más fáciles para que se acostumbren a decirlo de esta manera. Porque ya, porque ya después, ajá, permítanme, cuando ya, cuando ya después met, este, metemos los, los eh, el more el, y todos esos, ya nuestra mente vuelve a pensar en español y ya mezclamos las dos cosas. Uh -huh. Dígame, Pedro. For example, in the exist uh, different adjectives with uh, these adjectives don't change the structure. Uh, for example, expensive, expensive, more expensive, most expensive. Exactly. Uh -huh. Esos son unos verbos que no cambian de, de, de estructura, que no yes. se les agrega R. Uh -huh. Esos son más fáciles, pero el problema es que cuando vemos esos, ya como que nos destruyen lo que acabamos de ver, lo que acabamos de ver ahorita. Entonces, este. Porque alguien me podía decir, este, no sé, coffee is more hot than water, ¿ok? Uh -huh. dice more hot, ahí ya, ya destruyó la oración, sino que tiene que decir hotter, ¿ok? So hotter. we need to study the verbs. Ajá. No, no, solamente, solamente. The adjectives. Ajá, solamente se tiene que acordar de esta, de las estructuras de los adjectives. Ajá. Ok. Ajá. Ya mañana vamos a ver esas dos estructuras y ya se lo voy a mezclar todo para ver cómo vamos, ¿ok? Pero no se afligen, ¿ok? La idea es que por lo menos de estas reglas, de esas tres reglas, eh, no se olviden porque esas son las únicas en las que se agrega ER o IST y todo eso. ¿okay? Esas son las que nos, nos ayudan a que nos acordemos únicamente de eso, ya que cuando llegamos las demás ya no nos cuesta. ¿okay? So, tomorrow we are going to continue with this. Mañana vamos a ver la otra estructura, las últimas dos reglas que nos faltan, porque nos faltan dos reglas más. And, and then we're going to do a couple of practices. Okay, luego vamos a hacer un par de prácticas por ahí. Right? So, okay, teacher. Que le diré en español porque voy a hacerlo más rápido. Dígame. Uh -huh. y, y no sé si conoce, pero fíjese de que ayer le pregunté por mi progreso, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahora estaba intentando hacer lo que me hacía falta. Espera, ¿se desactiva el ejercicio a cierto tiempo o, o qué? Porque yo no sabía que no había hecho esos ejercicios. No, no se desactiva. Eh, incluso usted, digamos, no sé, un ejemplo bien extremo, ¿verdad? Que usted no, haga, no haya hecho nada en la plataforma y justamente el jueves o viernes lo, todo, lo quiere hacer todo, lo puede hacer todo, no hay problema. Uh -huh. Ay, sí, tengo problemas en el 2.7 o 1.7 de donde es can, but, and uh -huh. Ah, dice Todo eso y, y, y es como... Como adivinando y de todo, uh -huh. y no paso. Sí, lo, lo... creo que a veces los puntos y las comas es un problema. Ajá, ajá, por veces los puntos y las comas son pequeños. Y, no dejan y... pasar y, y es por eso. Sí, bueno, como lo... Ajá. intentando, pero pensé que se, que se bloqueaba, por eso era mi pregunta. Ah, no, no, usted puede seguir intentando, intentando y no se va a bloquear ni nada. Ajá. Incluso eso no le baja nota, sino que si la tiene bueno, pues le suma nota, pero no le va a bajar ni le va a quitar puntos, ¿ok? Sino que okay. únicamente no le, no le va a sumar los, los puntos que debería, pero, pero... Ajá, igual, la idea es que si, no, si tiene problemas con uno, pues le toma captura de pantalla o algo y me lo manda a mí. Y yo veo ah, cómo, okay. le, cómo le soluciono. Gracias. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok, no problem. So, thank you so much, everybody. Stay safe. Stay safe. Okay. And have Good a good night. night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Okay. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye.